Hey everybody, this is Joel from movingtomexi.co. If you love everything about Mexico, whether you're thinking about moving to Mexico, whether you're dreaming about moving to Mexico, or whether you just want to find out more about Mexico, we are the channel for you. And if you've seen our stuff before and you like what we're doing, can I ask you one little favor? Hit the, hit the like button, right? Hit the like button. Hit subscribe and then toggle, toggle that little notification bell so that you can be notified when we're posting new videos. Because do remember, we are giving away 27 more one-week vacations here in beautiful Bustrias, Mexico. So anyways, where are we today? We are on Estaciones, just off the Highway 200 in Bustrias. And tomorrow is a real big holiday for Mexico. It's Mexican Independence Day, that's the 16th of September. And we're gonna celebrate with some good friends tonight having a Mexican style potluck dinner. Now I was tasked with cooking birria. And birria, the way I like to describe it, is kind of like a beef bourguignon Mexico style. And I was gonna cook it, but I've been pretty busy with work, uh, busy with the new channel, busy with some other projects. So I thought, well, how can I kind of make things easier for myself? And then I had an idea. Well, I'm gonna go to Tio's, which makes the best birria in Bucerias. Let's go check it out. All right, so a couple things. Uh, first, this is a birria. Birria. <laughs> That's a really hard one to say. I can say birria really easy, but that is basically a place that makes birria. And El Tio is the name of the owner. Tio was his nickname when he was growing up. Uh, with all his uh, cousins and his brothers. He was the shortest guy. And for whatever reason, El Tio was the nickname that they gave him, and it stuck to this day. And the other thing to note is, it is just a morning food here. So a lot of people will have it for breakfast and early lunch, but once the pot is gone, it's done. And you won't see it again until the next day. So everything that is made is made fresh for that day. The night before, comes out. When it's all gone, that's it until tomorrow. The evening menu, so you have por la mañana, this is the, the menu for the morning, which, you know, the birria is the main focus. And then at night, por la noche, we have tacos de cabeza, which is really all the meat components from the head. And I think, Paul, we should do a Taco Tuesday episode back here one night and come do tacos de cabeza, no? So there's two different ways to do the tacos. So you have blandito, which is basically gonna be the corn flour tortilla and just cook just like that. They'll put the meat, all the accoutrements like the onion, uh, cebolla, the cilantro, and then the salsas. And the other famous way and the way I love it is dorado. And dorado, they'll take the tortilla and they'll dip it back in the consomme, which is basically where all the beef is cooking and simmering and it is a little bit oily. So then they take that oil from the chiles and uh, the cooked beef and re-fry it on the grill. And that gets it really, really nice and crispy. And I really like, I call that, that's my hangover taco. So if I have too much tequila the night before, I'm coming to Tio's and I'm having a plate of those. So if we do the math, for 30 birria tacos and all the fixings, it worked out to 800 pesos, which is around 35 US dollars. I don't think I was the only one smelling those delicious tacos. We're here with our really, really good friends. We're gonna go say hello to everybody and we're gonna bring everyone up who made their dish. I'm, I think I'm the only one who cheated. I should have made the birria, but I went to Tio's instead, but I actually ate three tacos just now. Really? Yeah, yeah, I really did. Okay, so you <laughs> I cheated twice. Okay, let's go see Paul. Estoy aquí con Nadia y ella hecho huilacoche, ¿sí? Sí. Explícame el plato. Bueno, el huilacoche es un hongo que crece en la mazorca del maíz. Okay. Este, este es un platillo que tiene años haciéndose aquí en México. ¿Y cuántos años? Es como antes de los españoles, ¿no? Sí, antes de los españoles. Época prehispánica. Prehispánica. Uh -huh. Y se hace también con el epazote, que también es una, una hierba que se hace uh -huh. mucho en México y que es muy típica de esta zona. ¿Y hierba es qué? Es una hierba. ¿Son qué? Es una planta. No, una planta, una, sí. Bueno, es que sí es una hierba y se pone con el... ¿Pero es muy fuerte o...? Tiene un sabor fuerte. Sabor fuerte. Uh -huh, intenso. Ok. Y pues ya, cebolla, elotes y ajito y ya. Estoy muy emocionado. 
de probarlo. Pues, Muchas bien. gracias. De nada. Y ya estoy con Susy. Explica la significación de este plato y por qué fue tu plato para esta fiesta. Sí. Ah, bueno, a mí me gustan mucho las rajas. El chile poblano es, no sé, siempre desde niña me ha gustado. ¿Y chile poblano es picante o no es más sabroso? Mm, a veces. <risa> a veces es picante, a veces no. Um, ¿Y esto pero es picante? Nunca sabe. Ok, <risa> nunca sabe. Ese no, no es picante, muy, muy poquito. Este, y bueno, es un platillo que a mí me gusta mucho. Uh -huh. eh, mi papá lo, lo hacía, entonces también lo pedía. ¿Es tu re, eh, receta de tu papá? Eh, más o menos. No, más o menos, sí, ok. Y un poco mía. <risa> y este es una, un platillo muy sencillo. Son uh -huh. Chile poblano en raja. Uh -huh. este, cebolla morada, porque la cebolla morada tiene más sabor. Ok. Eh, elote también, y este, igual que el cuitlacoche. Y crema. Y un poco de sal y un poquito de orégano para okay. dar otro poquito de sabor. ¿Y se puede comer en, en como, como un taco, como un ensalado, o un plato fuerte uh -huh. o ensalada? Uh, puede ser en tacos, sí. Uh -huh. este, como ensalada no, porque, bueno, es caliente, nunca okay. lo he comido como ensalada. Y um, puede ser también um, complemento de otro platillo. Excelente. Muchas gracias. So estoy aquí con Daniela. I'm here with Daniela, and she's doing me a favor and allowing me to speak in English. Yes. Sure. Okay. So. <laughs> and this is the dish she made. Uh, tell tell me why you chose this today. Uh, these are called frijoles puercos. Okay. I will translate kind of like pork beans because it has a lot of it's regular beans and then you mix it with a lot of pork uh, meat. Okay. And then uh, manteca, we have manteca, which is the oil. Right. And it comes from the pork. And then chorizo, bacon, and uh, chipotle, which is a, a chili, like spicy. And then for the color, it has some salsa brava, which is kind of like what you put on the chips. Okay. The spicy salsa. And it has a bunch of things, so kind of like a secret. <laughs> so could you, so it could be for dipping, it could be a side to put on rice or on tortilla or? Yeah, these frijoles are more from the north of Mexico, okay. from Sinaloa, and we love them there. I'm sure there's in other places in Mexico, but it's more known over there. And we use them for like, even for Christmas with tamales, or it's, it's a lot of mix with Mexican food. Yep. Not, you know, it's not that fancy, I guess. But uh, we, we do use it for important events, like it could be a, a birthday party, a, a, you know, Christmas or something like that. A wedding? Like eating a lot of, if the wedding is Mexican type, yeah. Yeah. But if it has to be Mexican, yeah. it doesn't really match with, you know, a, a chicken a lot. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. But um, we, you can have it as a snack with the totopos, or you can also have it just as a side dish. Excellent. I, I just gotta ask. Uh, who My made, mom made them. Who made the beans? My mom made them. Tu mama. <laughs> this time. I made them last time. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we went from beans and pork with pork and pork and more beans. Mm -hmm. Tu más puerco, no? Más puerco. <laughs> <laughs> Estoy aquí con Lily y ella hizo un chicharrón, no? ¿Sí? Explícame el plato. Eh, con esta preparación es chicharrón prensado. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Qué es prensado? Prensado es... Es una forma de prepararlo. Uh -huh. En México eh, se prepara de diferentes maneras desde el norte de, del país. Ok. Ahora, en Nuevo León, en el Estado de México, Oaxaca, Michoacán principalmente, en Hidalgo, Querétaro también. Eh, es este, veces, esta es, forma. Esta forma. Es uh -huh. muy, muy típica de estos, de estos lugares. Y... ¿Y la forma es la qué? La forma de prepararlo es, eh, en el momento que está en el caso, que se está friendo el cuero, el eh, okay. puerco, eh, también se deja un poco de grasa y de carne del, del puerco y con una prensa se, 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 se presiona eh, y, se van, y se va soltando la grasita y se queda lo que es la carne, la carne del, del, del cerdo y se queda un tiempo más para que se fría y, y tiene un sabor pues como más, más dorado. Ok. Más, más dorado. Se puede preparar eh, de, eh, o acompañar con diferentes eh, de, de formas. En, en el centro del país lo usan mucho en quesadillas. Ok. Con tacos simplemente. 
Pero en el centro de México a veces hay un quesadilla sin queso. Sí, si es ah, posible también, ¿no? Pero, <risa> pero aprovechando, quesadilla no, no significa Ajá. que tiene que tener queso. Ajá. En el tiempo de, de Moctezuma, en México prehispánico, a, la palabra quesadilla viene de un vocablo que significa tortilla doblada. De ver. Entonces, ¿no? si, si tú llegas al Estado de México y tú dices, me das una quesadilla, te preguntan, ¿con qué? ¿Con qué? Con un placoche, sí. con, con chicharrón prensado, ¿de qué quieres su quesadilla? Y de repente uno dice, la quesadilla pues va con queso. Sí, no, no, no. no. Es, es simplemente tortilla doblada. Entonces, eh, el origen es, entonces, quesadilla significa... This is excellent. Queso or otra you cosa. guys are learning things every day from our videos, right? And if you like what you're learning, because we're more than just showing you tacos and food, we're actually teaching you a little bit about the history of Mexico. Like, this is all pre Hispanic. A quesadilla is not a quesadilla, okay? It's like a tortilla basically closed with meat or huila coche, whatever your ingredient is, in central Mexico. Pero here, pero here. Pero aquí, <laughs> pero estoy hablando en inglés y español, pero aquí en Jalisco, un quesadilla es un quesadilla con queso. But if you like what you're learning, please hit the like button and then subscribe. And then Paul, what they got to do? Toggle that little notification bell. It's right over here. Muchas gracias. Thank you everybody for coming. Bienvenidos. And how do you say happy Mexican Revolution Day? Independencia, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> so everyone, I need to go back to school. <laughs> Revolution Day, Independencia. Independencia. Viva Mexico. Viva Mexico!